I'm going to show you how to add repeater fields to your loop grid and when you go into a single post it will also show it there but we're not using advanced custom fields or advanced custom fields pro we're using the pods plugin and this plugin you can get for free and it comes with repeater fields and some other fields that you would normally have to go and get ACF pro now I want to make clear advanced custom fields I use it quite a lot and I have nothing except love for it. But if you want to get repeater fields, having to upgrade to a pro version to get that, and sometimes having to do gallery of images as well, does feel a little bit like overkill. And what you can do with this plugin is super, super useful. So once you've installed and activated it, you can go and create your custom post types, your taxonomies, your posts, etc. Now I've already gone and added in some, and I've only done it for my posts. Like I said, you could do it for your custom post type. You can do it for WooCommerce and all of that. So all I've done in here is just add in a field called team members or a group. And I'm going to explain why you would want to go for a repeat of field. But let me just show you this field team members and the name is team underscore members. You just click add field. OK, so if I hit edit or add field, this is what you would have seen. I've given it a description so that when the user or someone is completing this, they get a bit of a guide to help them in completing it. And I've selected my field type to be plain text. And look, you do have a load of options down here. Again, I mentioned earlier about gallery images. If I went to file image or video type and I go over here, I can now select multiple. So with advanced custom fields, you've got to go for the pro version if you want to have gallery. This is a team members field. It's a plain text. The key bit is down here where it says repeatable. I have said allow multiple values. Now, let me explain what the heck is a repeat field. I said this is what we're going to do and I haven't even explained what it is. If you have a custom field, so you're going to have your post and you're just going to have title and your content and your category. Your custom fields allows you to add in a bit more so you could add in age. And that will then be a field visible within your post for the users to go and complete. But what if you've got a post that is going to be a department? So it's, say you've got a school and you've got the geography department and you're going to have a field in there called teachers and you go and add in the teacher name. And now you need to add in another teacher name and you go, OK, I'll create another custom field called teacher number two, teacher number three, teacher number four. And you go on and on and on. Some departments might only have one teacher. Another department might have 10 teachers. How are you going to know how many custom fields to apply? By doing a repeater field, and in this example, I've called it team members. If I was to now have a department in an organization and that department has five team members, there's one field, but I can add as many team members as I want. It basically gives you the repeatable option. And it's going to become clear when I show you this. So I've just made it repeatable. Now, if you want to go and add in some more advanced logic or conditional logic, so it's going to be based on the values of something else you could do if you want to get rid of white spaces. So there's quite a lot of options. I won't lie and say this could be a whole lot more intuitive. They do give you some guides and documentation. and I know they're working on that. But for, from a repeatable field point of view, this is all you'd have to do. Go in and give it your label, decide on your field type. You know, you can mess around there if you want, but jump over to the repeat. Repe 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 getting my words all mixed up today, aren't I? Go to the repeatable tab setting. Make sure you allow multiple values. Uh, you can add in a description uh, or a label. I'm just going to put add new. And then I've decided to go for line break. So every time I add uh, a new entry, they'll be below one another. You could, if you want, have them as commas as well. Uh, or you could, sorry, that's the Oxford comma, by the way. So get a comma before the word and or go for your native normal common comma if you want as well. You could have an ordered list. So every time you add an item, it's one, two, three, and all of that. Um, I'm just going to go for line breaks. So I want to keep it quite clean. And that's it. So pods, you know, you install it, activate it, and I've added in the field. You can add as many fields as you want. If I now go over to my posts, and I've got two posts over here, I've got hello world and hello again. I know, proper imaginative, right? The hello world, here's where my custom field is, or my repeatable. So, you know, your normal post, you'll have your title and your description and your categories and all of that. But this is where your custom fields will appear. Very much like advanced custom fields and other products as well and plugins. By the way, I'm not trying to say you've got to use pods, right? There's so many other solutions out there. You've got to go for what works for you. 
So I've already gone and added in three team members. I could click add new and add in another one. I could rearrange this and now pop this to be second in my list. I could get rid of it as well. So what I'm going to do, and Jeffrey, if you're watching, I don't mean this in a bad way, but I'm just going to show you that, look, if you add in an entry and you want to get rid of it, you can do. And you can hit add new. And there's the description I mentioned earlier as a guide so you know what I want you to complete or how I want you to complete it. And then you just hit update. And over here, I've got another one. And I'm just going to add in another entry. We'll just pop in WooCommerce. I'll tell you what, let's just move that to the top so you can see that I can rearrange it and I hit update. Now, let me show you how to add that to your loop grid or even a single post page. Remember, you can do this for products and WooCommerce as well. So I'm using Elementor, but what I'm going to show you, you can use on any WordPress page builder as well, because you are going to be using a shortcode and it's a lot simpler than you think. If I go and edit this loop grid and it could be a loop carousel, the normal way of how you would add like a custom field, whether it's ACF or pods is let's say you go and add in a heading, right? It could be a text editor as well. So I've just going to drop it in. We'll pop it in over here. You click the dynamic tag. And I don't recommend using the post custom field. You would scroll down and if you had advanced custom fields, it would say ACF custom field. You could also go and hit pods field, click the spanner or wrench. And this is what you might do. You're going to go, ah, look, team members. You go and pick it. You go and hit uh, save and back. And when you view it in preview, it does not appear. Because it's a repeatable field, it's not going to appear. Now, if it was a non-repeatable field, your normal custom field, it would have returned the value but it's not going to work for that. So what you need to do instead is use a short code. So let's just get rid of that heading, which was kind of coming through as blank anyway. Let's go and add in a short code and we're going to drop that in there. And then we're going to add in this tiny bit of code. Pods field equals team underscore members. Team underscore members is the name. Okay, not the label, which was team space members. It, wherever you have a space, you're going to have an underscore. OK, and that's all you do. And this is what you see. You got your title, featured image, you got a call to action button or take you over to the post. And then you've got your repeater field showing. And look, it's got the WooCommerce and Jeffrey, unfortunately, has been deleted because I wanted to show you how quick and easy it was to add and update and remove. Your repeater fields are coming through, but you are a little bit limited as to the style. Now, what I've done here is I've gone and used a short code. You could, if you want, bring do it with a text editor as well. So if I go and take that field and instead I bring through the text editor field, let's just drop that in above. We'll get rid of the lorem ipsum and go to the text tab. And then I'm going to drop in the short code now. I could go over and set the typography. I'm going to make it ridiculously big just to show you that it is definitely working. We'll pick a different color. And when we go back to preview, you've got the short code and you've got the worded version or the text editor version showing as well. The last thing I want to show you is how you can actually make this look a whole lot better. So I've gone and added in the word team members and I've put a breakpoint in and I'll just show you how that looks. And you might look at that and go, well, that's really cool because we now have a title. The limitation I find with this, though, is that the style you apply to your text is going to be the same style that now applies over here. What you're probably better doing is adding in some span classes. Now, you could do this to the text editor or to the shortcode. It doesn't really matter. I'm actually going to do it to my short code just to show you how easy it is. So if I go to my short code, currently it says pods field equals team member. I'm going to get rid of that and instead use this bit of code, which is span class repeat header. So that's the class name repeat header team member. So team members is going to be my header, but I've given it a class name of repeat header. And then the bit which was pods equals team or well, sorry, pod field. No, pods field. <laughs> Pods field equals team members. I've now given that a class name of repeat text. So I'm now giving a class name to the text, which is the repeater field, and then a class name to the header as well. Now, why have I done that? Well, if you now go to the advanced tab, and you could do this in the text editor as well, but I just want to show you within the short code, I have now gone and added in some CSS. So my header will be that color and a font weight of 700 and a font size of 20, say. And then my repeat text, I've given a bit of margin type, slightly different cover, color, different weight, you know, line height and the font size. You would obviously pop in a clamp formula as well, but I want to keep this quite simple. If you want to do any background styling, you could. Remember, you could do this uh, to the text editor if you want. But what will happen is if you apply a background style, let, in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do this. OK, I'm going to apply the background style to the text as well. 
So not the header, just the text. Because if you apply this to the text editor, it will do it to the heading as well. So I'm now allowing you to have different styles applied. So let's now go and, in fact, let me get rid of that comment bit there. Let's now update that. And you, can you see now the difference? So that is with the text editor. If you had a background color, it would apply to all of them, the color of your text and all of that. But when you start to uh, assign a class name for the heading part and then for the repeater field part, can you see what we've got going on here? The CSS code I wrote, I will stick in the video description. This particular part, because YouTube don't like it when you put angled brackets, have a look over there. You can, I'll leave that on screen for a moment. It's pretty simple and easy to do. The most important bit is the pods field equals team member. We're using the pods plugin for free you know, to create your repeater field and to show it. And what we've done here, you could copy that and you could go and use it on your single post as well. I mean, if I was to just go through to this single post, I haven't used the exact same style, but I've just, again, got that same short code. So I've got my heading with a particular style and then I've got my items coming through. And if I go through to this particular post, again, it's going to come through. So whether you're on the single post or the loop grid, or whether it's products or categories or whatever, it's pretty super cool and versatile, but I've got various options. Do you want to use it in your heading? You can use it in a text editor or the short code. Either way, right, you, you know, you can mix and match it to work for you. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I was using the pods plugin for free for repeater fields, and I was nowhere near the advanced custom fields pro. That doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with ACF Pro. I want to make that crystal supernova clear. I'm from Web Squadron. Go and check out our $1 business packs. I'll see you soon.